All right, we're gonna listen to two microphones today, and I haven't done pro mic reviews, so if you're used to other people on YouTube doing them for podcasters, this is not that fucking channel. Up today, I have a microphone you all know, you all love, the king of kings for my headphone recording rig, the M5, the Rode M5, made in Australia, and the most popular of the XLR Phantom podcaster mics, if you're going for an actual mic and not something USB, which is the Audio-Technica AT2020, which is a big a choroid condenser mic. Now, right now you're hearing me through the GoPro's mic. Future Zeos is sitting here waiting for me to go snap and then switch over to the other mics. So let's make Zeos happy. Hold on, checking. All right, we're on the Rode M5, or we're gonna be in a second when I snap my fingers. Let me get my, now, the levels on this are just, I'm just maxing out. So this is maxing out and I'm gonna do a couple distance tests, you know, just like this. But let me switch over to the M5 right now. I'm peaking a little bit, so I'll keep my voice, you know, keep my voice normal and now we're on the M5. This is this microphone that I used to record on my speaker demos. This is the microphone I used to record the headphone demos. It is a very accurate microphone. It doesn't soften the voice. It doesn't, you know, bring it to a beautiful, lovely, warm tone. They're just uh, flat and neutral. And they're also not designed for up close in your face use. So, you know, I have them in the headphone rig and they do well there. But these microphones are designed to aim at a direction, at an instrument, at a man playing guitar, and it'll pick him up perfectly. So, right now, I'm roughly a little more than a foot away from this microphone talking to you. And if I got real close, and I gotta keep my eye on the levels up there. If I got real close, you could hear me. Probably all the things that are happening in my nose. But what you're hearing out there, and I'll use my headphones here as a temporary. This is professional as hell when you do this. So there, look how nice and comfortable that looks. So now I'm gonna move back to three feet. I'm gonna keep pointing it at me. So this is a roughly three feet. And you can still hear me pretty well, as far as I can tell from the levels over there. Maybe I could use a little more boost, but it's it's good, it's not bad. Let's squeaky chair it up and go back to like six feet. That's about six feet. You can still hear me. Now I've got my window open and the town is a bustling. No air conditioner, no fan, no nothing like that. So it's just you and me talking. Now, I could bring this in. I could bring it in real close, back to where I was. I don't know if I'd recommend this microphone personally for just using on a desk or for podcasts. It does have the, uh, the little foam pop filters are somewhere in this place. Good luck with that. But uh, yeah, I, I, I have these. I own these. They only get sold in a pair, which is another bother, which is probably why you're not going to be looking at them. But I always have a need for two microphones, so I bought them. So if I can use them for vocals and it doesn't really bother you, oh, crap. Did that just do a thing? That just did a thing. Yeah, that was doing bad because I have this muted. I have this unmuted so I could monitor the head things. I'll have to check that out and see how bad that came. This whole video might be for, for pot. Let's... So now you hear this is this is a microphone. This is a microphone. I'm going to switch back to the GoPro's audio right now. And now we're back on the GoPro audio, which I know is automatically compressed and leveled, and it sounds pretty damn excellent actually, considering GoPro mics are not shit. That that feedback is going to require me to redo that whole thing. I'm pretty sure. All right, let's switch to the Audio Technica. Now I'm going to flip this switch. And it's going to freak out a little bit because it's just switching the, the line. Now, the Audio Technica here has a 5 8 mount. And actually this tripod is adapted with a gooseneck on a 5 8 mount. But it's got the Rode adapters on it to hold the Rode microphones when I do speaker tests. 
and I'd have to unscrew that and put this on, then really doesn't make a difference in this particular case, not really. So I'm just going to snap my fingers again, and then I'm going to be talking through the AT2020. So now I'm talking through the AT2020. And again, I'm about a little more than a foot away, and I'm looking at my levels, and they look nice and full. This is, this is no peaking happening. It's just me talking. Just me, I'm just a dude talking. Now, being lazy, I have had them on mostly using it like this, just on the table, talking at it when I was testing it, using it with Ventrilo and things like that. So, I mean, this does work. This just looks ghetto. So you, you can get a whole boom stand so that it doesn't pick up that. That's annoying. Pop filter for the front of it if you don't want to, if you... Do not suck your microphone's dick while you're talking to it. There is no need to be this close to your microphone. You could be a foot, a foot and a half. Here's a foot and a half away from the microphone. I'm hitting... You know, negative, negative six peaks. I'm just talking normally at it. Now, there's a front and a back. If I turn to the back, this is what it sounds like talking to the back of the microphone. It's a bit negative. So it's pointed back at my face. And here's the normal distance. Do not, I hate seeing people who are just like, like inside the goddamn microphone. You don't have to be inside of it. You can be back here and still sound perfectly fine. Now, background noise. Since I don't have an air conditioner running, and since I don't have too much going on in the town, I thought I'd let Agaragi uh, just start talking with some of the girls from the Monogatari series in the background to sort of give you the sense of if you are doing this and other people are around, what it's like. <laughs> All right. They're talking at like a normal, like people over there having a conversation. Can you hear me? The point is if you could hear me at a foot. <laughs> Shut up. No one's asking you. Milk drop on Fubar, by the way. So now you're listening to me on the AT2020. With stuff happening in the background, you could hear them. There's this sort of noise and bustle and hustle and all that. So as far as cutting out the background noise, this does a pretty good job. Because I'm not seeing a lot of... <laughs> interference when I make like they're coming through they're coming through at like negative 30 decibels so now I'm going to quickly mute while I switch that switch future Zeos and then we're going to hear what the M5 does okay audio commentary audio commentary so now we're on the M5s or one of the M5s, and the background noise of them. is happening, and I'm talking, and you hear maybe you hear this, the window behind me. But so that's the. This is a basic sound check. What does that sound like? What does this sound like? Now they just won't shut up. So you're getting a, a picture of what the AT2020 sounds like. I'm going to now stop both of these from happening and then just have the GoPro's microphone. Ready, Zeus? So now this is back to GoPro microphone. And they're talking. They're doing their thing over there. In Japanese. And, uh, yeah, it comes with... I'll unplug this. Because the 2020s... If you buy the M5, you know, it's a great mic. It is a great mic. It's, I like the form factor, I like the little stands, I like the little build quality, is, oh, it's a metal tube, and does a wonderful job of my headphone recording. So 2020 here, I had to add a piece of tape around this so that it wouldn't slide. That was like my only like concern. When I did have it mounted up on the stand here, this was sort of like loose and would, would wiggle around. So I added some tape and that stopped that from happening. You could unscrew this base and then it'll rotate. And then you, you tighten it down however you want to orient it. It's well built. I've been kicking this thing around for six months now. Literally almost kicking it. And she hasn't skipped a beat. So. Until I get a variety of microphones and I have a couple of shores that are pre-built with preamps in them coming up. Those are going to be a separate video. Solid buy. Solid buy. 
And this obviously is great. And headphones and cameras and the, the GoPro. Let's get, come on, let's give it up for the GoPro. And it's audio quality. Thank you, Araragi. Araragi! Okay. This is a terrible mark of you. Show your disgust in the comments. Thanks.